Hello and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Today I want to talk to you about the Gentech slash Cam Master T3 phase converter. If you're getting a vacuum table with your Cam Master machine, you're going to need a phase converter if you don't have uh, three phase power in your shop. Now, very technical. I am not an expert. I'm just going to show you what I did. I had a licensed technician, electrician there with me. I did not do this myself, but I want to show you some of the things that uh, we struggled with in the initial uh, setup and connection of the phase converter and the vacuum table. So if you're utilizing the Gentech Cam Master T3 phase converter and the 15 horsepower vacuum pump, this video is going to show you what we did to hook it up and get it going. Now just as an aside, the folks at Gentech Power, specifically Dave, who is uh, uh, not only a great guy, but he's the, the president and CEO of Gentech. He's also got a couple of videos on YouTube in the Gentech uh, YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Very helpful company, very helpful person absolutely walk me through the whole step. So uh, sit back, a little bit long, but there's a lot to it. And if you're hooking up a vacuum table, utilizing the Gentech T3 phase converter, have a look at this. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Okay, so here we are. You've got your new Cam Master machine here, and you've got the vacuum table option you don't have the proper power, so you've got to get the Gentech Power a Cam Master T3 phase converter, okay? And so what you're going to get, you're going to get two little black boxes, the T3 there, and then if you look at this little uh, transformer down here, this little beauty, those are the two boxes that are going to come first. And you'll probably get those a week before uh, your machine arrives. Now let's have a look on the inside here. And let me get the camera here. Okay, a couple things before we get started. I just want to reiterate that I am not a licensed electrician. Um, I'm just going to walk you through what I did. The Gentech people are very, very helpful. And I invite you to call their support line, read your manuals, and uh, once again, get a licensed technician to help you out. So we're going to jump right into it. Let me get the box open and the uh, everything set. And we'll jump right into the Gentech T3 phase converter. Okay, so once again, you've got the wires here coming in from your house or your shop. You probably have a, a, a white, a black and probably a green. They then come into the T3 control box into L1, L2, and TF4. Then those pass through over to this other side and log into these terminals, plug into these terminals. And you can see there we've got the T1, TF1, T2, TF2. And then they come down and plug into your power module. And so the TF1 from up in the control box goes to that terminal, the TF2 into that terminal, and the TF4 into that terminal, as you see here. Those are the lines from the control panel that I showed you before. Okay, so here they are again. Here's your TF1 your TF2, and down at the bottom is your TF4 or your green ground. Now, as all of those voltages then pass through this control box with all of those, whatever those are, I, I understand those will shock you. The T1 and the T2 that I showed you earlier correspond to the T1, the T2, and the T3 here that flow out of this box 
and goes to the load. In our case, it's the vacuum pump, and those wires, in my case, flow down the floor and underneath my table and then plug into my 15 horsepower vacuum pump and you can see here where those wires plug in. Okay, this is the inside cover of where you saw the wires go into the pump. This is on the inside of that cover. Now this particular vacuum pump has the ability to work off of a couple of different voltages. If you're wiring it for the, the minimum allowed voltage, you use the top diagram. If you're wiring it for other voltages, the higher voltages, you use the bottom diagram. Now, my particular pump came wired uh, with the maximum voltage, the max voltage. So the terminals there, those those lines that you see between the terminals there, those are little brass plates that are on the terminals. And I'll show you uh, up underneath there in just a second. So because mine was wired for the max voltage and not the min voltage, the pump wouldn't work. So I had to take these brass plates off of there and put them like you see in the top uh, illustration there so that the brass plates connected the top terminals and the bottom terminals. Okay, this is with the cover off. You see those brass plates that go between the terminals top and bottom. The brass plates when I got mine were just across those top three terminals so I had to switch those around so that it would work with the appropriate voltage coming out of the T3 um, phase converter. All of this is very, very important. So uh, please read the directions in a licensed technician. Okay, now let's have a look at the vacuum pump itself and how it's actually hooked to the table. So here, now you have your vacuum pump right here. Mine's mounted underneath my table. And then they give you most of the white pipe for the plumbing. Now you're going to get this little pop-off valve right here and a filter. And that needs to go right here, uh, right outside the, the inlet, if you will, because that's pulling vacuum. And then this other side of the pump is if you were using this pump to blow air, air is blown out this. In our case, it's exhaust because we're using the pump to suck, not to blow. And so we've got our pipe hooked up to the uh, inlet side. Then we have our valve, our pop-up valve, and be sure you follow the sticker on the valve of direction of flow. And that's so when the uh, machine is sucking so many pounds of vacuum, uh, this is a relief valve that, uh, you know, because it can't just continue to suck and suck and suck. So at some point it has to have a, a relief. This opens up and allows more air to come in so that you don't ruin your pump. And then, of course, because it's uh, an inlet of, of, of sorts, you have to have a filter on it. So then you keep coming down the pipe and then you've got your big, huge canister filter here. Okay. And then you keep coming down the pipe like this and it goes into your table. And then you've got your um, vacuum pressure gauge screwed in in line there uh, on the pipe uh, so that you can see uh, how much vacuum the pump is pulling. Then underneath here, each one of these is a zone. You've got four zones on the table and then you've got the white pipe then that runs to the various zones. This right here is your gate. It will also come detached from the table. You have to hook this up. This piece was on the table when the table arrived and then I assembled this part here and this is what turns on the vacuum pump, or excuse me, 
let me rephrase that, allows the zones to be active with vacuum or not, and that's controlled from your WinCNC control software, whichever control software uh, you're using. That's the vacuum gate. When the vacuum gate is closed, the vacuum table is actuated and pulling vacuum. When that gate is open, there is no vacuum on the table. And so that's a pretty, pretty good look at how we get vacuum to our table utilizing this uh, 15 horsepower vacuum pump and the Gentech T3 phase converter, okay? Then we'll come out here to the end of the table and you can see here, here are our zone controls for the four zones uh, of the table. Whoops. And each one has an on and off. Okay, so we've got our power light here indicating we've got single phase power to the unit. Listen at how fast this thing starts this pump. Ready? Full power. That had to be less than three seconds. All right, we're going to put a we're going to take a little piece of MDF and put it on one of the zones that's on that zone there and you ain't moving that that MDF is on there and that's plenty of hold not moving that's plenty of hold to hold it there while you machine it so there you have it the Gentech T3 phase converter that takes your single phase power from your home, converts it to three phase, and gets your vacuum pump going, right? Listen, if I've misspoke on any of the voltages or anything like that, again, not a licensed technician, the whole point of the video was to show folks how you can take your, your single phase power, convert it for your vacuum pump, and show that this Gentech phase converter to start that motor is just absolutely amazing. What's important is, is that those motors, they have got to get started fast so that they don't wear out, burn up, etc. And the Gentech T3 absolutely does that. So once again, thank you to Dave and the great people at Gentech. Thank you to Cam Master for providing just the, what I think is just the, the top of the line uh, CNC machine, the equipment. Jim Hago over there will absolutely walk you through the things that you got to have and that you need to know. The instructions that come with the T3 are great. One note that I just, I really got to mention, you have got to use the gauge wire that it calls for in the instructions or it's not going to work. Don't waste your time calling the people at Gentech if you didn't use the proper uh, gauge wire. And the gauge d depends on the number of feet that you have to travel uh, to get the power from the phase converter to your pump. In my case, I was able to use six gauge wire, pretty thick wire, so make sure that you follow the instructions there. Uh, here's a brief uh, uh, copy of what those instructions look like. It walks you through all the things that we just talked about in terms of the L1s and L2s and getting the wires out to the, the control module or the transformer and then back into the uh, control box, okay? So thanks again for watching. Hope this has helped some folks out and that you, you're getting your vacuum pump all hooked up. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.